Cholesterol is a fatty, waxy substance that is present in every cell of your body and is essential for various bodily functions. It plays a vital role in building cell membranes, vitamin D, producing hormones like estrogen and testosterone, and aiding in the digestion of dietary fats. Cholesterol is produced by the liver, but it can also be obtained from the food you eat. Cholesterol is transported in your bloodstream by lipoproteins, and there are two primary types of these lipoproteins. Number one, low-density lipoprotein, LDL. LDL lipoprotein transports cholesterol from the liver to cells throughout the body, where it is used for various functions. Often referred to as bad cholesterol, high levels of this LDL cholesterol can lead to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, increasing the risk of atherosclerosis and heart disease. Number two, high-density lipoprotein, HDL. It is primarily responsible for removing excess cholesterol from cells and tissues and transporting it to the liver for disposal. Known as good cholesterol, HDL helps remove excess cholesterol from the bloodstream, transporting it to the liver for disposal. Balancing these cholesterol levels is crucial for maintaining good cardiovascular health. High levels of LDL cholesterol and low levels of HDL cholesterol are associated with an increased risk of heart disease while higher HDL levels are considered protective. Excess LDL cholesterol in the bloodstream can lead to the accumulation of cholesterol in the walls of arteries, forming plaques. Over time, these plaques can narrow and block blood vessels, leading to a condition called atherosclerosis, and increases the risk of stroke, peripheral artery disease, and blood clots. It's important to note that not all cholesterol is obtained through diet. Your liver produces a significant portion of the cholesterol your body needs. Additionally, genetics can influence how your body processes and manages cholesterol, which is why some individuals may be more predisposed to cholesterol-related issues. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider can help monitor and manage cholesterol levels. The good news is that there are certain things you can do to lower your unhealthy cholesterol levels including taking certain vitamins through natural food sources or supplements. In this video, we'll discuss the nine vitamins to lower cholesterol and how to take them safely. Number one, niacin, vitamin B3. Our first vitamin on the list is vitamin B3, also known as niacin. Niacin has been shown to raise HDL, good cholesterol, and lowers LDL, bad cholesterol levels. It does this by inhibiting an enzyme called lipoprotein lipase which plays a role in the breakdown of LDL particles in the bloodstream. Niacin reduces triglyceride levels in the blood. High triglycerides are associated with an increased risk of heart disease, so niacin's ability to lower them contributes to overall heart health. You can find niacin in foods like fish, lean meats, and nuts, or consider talking to your healthcare provider about niacin supplements. Number two, vitamin C. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that can help reduce inflammation in the arteries. This can help prevent the formation of plaques. It's not just great for your immune system, it can also help reduce LDL cholesterol levels. You can get your daily dose of vitamin C from citrus fruits, berries, bell peppers, and leafy green vegetables. Number three, vitamin D. Vitamin D helps regulate the parathyroid hormone, PTH. When parathyroid hormone levels are high, it can stimulate the production of cholesterol within cells, leading to elevated cholesterol levels. Adequate vitamin D can help maintain normal PTH levels and in turn, influence cholesterol regulation. The sun is a great natural source of vitamin D, and you can also find it in fatty fish, eggs, fortified dairy products, and supplements. Number four, vitamin E. Vitamin E is our fourth cholesterol-lowering hero. One of the primary roles of vitamin E is to protect cells and lipoproteins, like LDL cholesterol, from oxidative damage caused by free radicals. When LDL cholesterol is oxidized, it becomes more likely to contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, leading to atherosclerosis. Vitamin E's antioxidant properties can help counteract this oxidation, potentially slowing the progression of atherosclerosis and reducing the risk of heart disease. Foods rich in vitamin E include nuts, seeds, spinach, avocado, kiwi fruit. Number five, vitamin K. Vitamin K plays a crucial role in regulating calcium in the body. It helps direct calcium to where it's needed, such as in bones, and away from where it can be harmful, 
like in arterial walls. Arterial calcification is associated with atherosclerosis, which can lead to elevated cholesterol levels and increased risk of heart disease. By promoting proper calcium metabolism, vitamin K can help reduce the risk of arterial calcification and its associated complications. Good sources of vitamin K include leafy green vegetables, cabbage, fatty fish, organ meat, and broccoli. Number six, vitamin B6. Vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxine, plays a role in cholesterol metabolism through its involvement in several biochemical pathways. Vitamin B6 is crucial for the metabolism of certain amino acids, including methionine. Methionine metabolism is linked to the production of homocysteine, an amino acid that, when elevated in the blood, can contribute to cardiovascular problems, including higher cholesterol levels. Adequate vitamin B6 helps regulate homocysteine levels, which indirectly impacts cholesterol health. Good sources of vitamin B6 include poultry, fish, bananas, and chickpeas, Number seven, vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is essential for the conversion of homocysteine into methionine. Vitamin B12 helps to lower homocysteine levels and raise HDL cholesterol. Vitamin B12 is crucial for DNA synthesis and the production of new cells. Cholesterol is a component of cell membranes and cells constantly need to be replaced and repaired. Adequate vitamin B12 ensures the efficient production of cells, including those involved in cholesterol metabolism. Good sources of vitamin B12 include meat, poultry, fish, dairy products, egg, and fortified foods. Vitamin B12 should be obtained through a balanced diet and in some cases through supplementation if advised by a healthcare provider to address specific deficiencies. Number eight, folate, vitamin B9. Folate also supports the conversion of homocysteine into methionine, helping to regulate homocysteine levels. High homocysteine levels can contribute to atherosclerosis and elevated cholesterol. Good sources of folate include leafy green vegetables, citrus fruits, legumes, and fortified foods. Number nine, omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids, particularly EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid, and DHA, docosahexaenoic acid, are known for their ability to lower triglyceride levels in the blood. Elevated triglycerides are a risk factor for heart disease and are often associated with elevated cholesterol levels. Omega-3 fatty acids can raise HDL, good cholesterol levels, and have a modest effect on lowering LDL, bad cholesterol levels. By improving the balance between HDL and LDL cholesterol, they support cardiovascular health. Good sources of omega-3 fatty acids include fatty fish like salmon, nuts, and seeds. Alternatively, fish oil supplements can be considered under the guidance of a healthcare provider. It's important to talk to your doctor if you're considering taking any supplements, including vitamins. This is especially important if you have any underlying health conditions or are taking any medications. Here are some general tips for taking vitamin supplements safely. Start with a low dose and increase gradually as tolerated. Don't take more than the recommended daily dose. Be aware of potential side effects. Avoid taking vitamins if you have an allergy to any of the ingredients. Always remember, maintaining healthy cholesterol levels requires a combination of factors, including a balanced diet, regular physical activity, and potentially medications or supplements. Depending on individual health needs, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider for personalized guidance on managing cholesterol and maintaining overall heart health. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips.